So guys, good morning. Hope you are all doing good. Hope you woke up well this morning. I'm happy to present to you again. And this is the uh, Pixel Lab interface. Now I'm going to be quickly showing you guys how to operate the Pixel Lab. I'm going to show you the basic functions of every icon here, one after the other. Then I'm going to go straight to the point now once again. Now welcome to Rex Kilowatts Graphics once again. And I hope you learn. So I just want you to study what I'm going to explain about the Pixel app. First of all, this is the Pixel app interface. Now when you go to your Google Play Store, I'm going to show you so that you won't get lost. Let's go back. When you go back to your Google Play Store, you search for Pixel Lab. Make sure your data connection is on, internet connection. Um, then you search Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab. Let's see. Okay. This is what we need. This is the main face of the Pixel. It's already on my phone, that's why I'm showing open. So, once you install it, you open. This is the first page it's going to, it's going to bring out, it's going to show. So, I'm going to be starting from the top icons. This plus icon, this plus, this plus. It has text here, current date, sticker, shape from gallery. The text now is when you want to bring a text into your design. That's for the text. Then the current dates when you want to set a date. That's for that in your design. Then when you want to bring sticker, that's the third one. This one is for shape. To bring out shape, a bigger shape. I'm going to show you how to use shapes, how to use shape to design, how to use merge shapes in the course of our training. And this one, when you want to bring things in from your gallery takes you back to the gallery then draw you can as well draw that's how we draw i'm going to show you how to draw I'll tell you how to use the drawing too so the second icon is this icon that looks like a disc a floppy disc like this it has two outlines there save as project when you finish your work i want to save it on pixel lab this way you will save as project as a project and the save as images to save it inside your phone gallery i'll show you all that and the third icon here that is showing share is to share your work this one is for quotes for memes when you need inspiration and motivation you come there so these three dots on the right side top right side these three these three dots is another is another menu icon so use image from gallery it takes you back to the gallery just like this from gallery it's the same thing with that use image from gallery from from gallery then full screen if you want to make the screen full use image from camera if you want to snap picture instant picture export image export image too is also from to take you back that's to save image or to share to so we have tutorials that's guard all these ones are basically settings like remove ads tutorials that's guard on pizella recover or to save open p l p files these ones are files hard files that you can't open with ordinary app there are apps that open those files i'm also going to be explaining to you then exit and about it's about pixel lab so that's that then once you come down this icon that is showing back <coughs> is to go back to the first page like when you pick a text now when you copy this now like you want to erase it you go back it goes back once that's to remove your previous your previous work once or maybe you made a mistake and you want to go back to correct yourself that's what it's for so 
this phone is to zoom to zoom the screen you know i'll show you how to use that we have a grid line this grid line is, is acts like a ruler in pixel lab it makes you use it makes you get a good design it makes your work straight i'll show you how to use the grid line and these are layer our layer every work we do will appear on our layer here I'm, I'm, when you write the text it appears here so when you copy it you see both of them appears here so you'll be able to operate it from the layer okay i'm going to remove it then when you come down now is this my project that's every work you've done that's where it's been saved my project default is this default page like you want to go back to a new page this one's a template sample templates that you can use you can as well change it to white so that's that and this a here this letter a is for editing text just text and for bringing out text now i want to write a text you can you see can you see sorry you let me bring it to the center Make it big. <laughs> you <laughs> now when i remove this bar from it you see i can't edit it but when i tap on it you tap on it you'll be able to edit it so it's for editing text this one is for your text style to edit the text the name to delete your text to copy your text you can see it's easy tap on it when you want to bring the text to the front when you want to bring it to the back i'll show you how to use this front and back when we start designing you must click on the a otherwise you won't be able to edit the text this is our relative position key to move our text to move our text this one to move to the center to the middle right up bring it back to the center so that's the function of this one is to increase the text sizing to increase the padding i'm going to show you what padding is you change the color i'm going to change the color Let's change it to green to bring texture to back fill to fill from your gallery i'm going to show you what how it works the opacity to reduce the transparency you want to rotate your text you can see it's easy to mask to cut out a section from your text or shape that's what you use the mask for all these things i'm going to be showing you because of the training you will be learning a lot from my training and fonts i'll also be giving you font for free 5000 fonts for free as bonus for buying my course you want to bold italic underline as it is on your notepad you can see it's easy to curve your text this background you want to change the color of the background of the text you see you don't need that you don't need that to align to bring your text to the center to the right to the left you also know that line spacing letter spacing stroke see the stroke is a line that covers round the edge of your of a letter or the letters in the sentence it covers round the edges of the of the sentence that's the letters in the sentences or the letters in the sentence the work of the text is to cover around the edges of a letter let me put it that way so that's work of the of the stroke we have the shadow and give your text a shadow okay. In a shadow, you can give your text in a shadow perspective. You want your text to be on a, on a flat surface. 
So that's the work of them. Catch it. Three D rotate. See, see. Three D rotate. <laughs> this one is for three D rotate. So three D shadow. This one is three D shadow. You can see it under reflection. So the third icon here is to edit shape, match object or any moving object but apart from text. So I'm going to bring out the shape now and we'll give it a color so that you can see what I'm doing. You can see now once I, once I remove once I put it on this A now, I won't be able to edit the text, the shape again, unless I bring it here back. So, the first one here is to edit your text, it takes you back to the first page where you got the shape from. From here, you'll be able to edit your shape properly. Then, to delete the second one, to crop, you want to crop it. To copy, you click on it, you tap on it, or else you won't be able to edit, you tap on it, <laughs> take it to the front, to the back, let it position key, to move your shape, bring it to the center, relative size, texture to backfill, I'll show you how to backfill opacity to reduce the transparency you have color filters you can give your 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 shape stroke you can give it stroke so you can erase I'll show you how to use the eraser you can erase color too I'll also be showing you how to erase color. For this training now, I'm just explaining how the functions of the icons on the app. So, you have rotate. You can rotate the object. It's 3D rotate. You want it to be on a flat surface, like this. 3D shape. The color. Perspective, there's perspective. You see, you can make it be as if it's on the wall, just like this 3D. I'm going to be doing that now. I hope you are following, it's very interesting. You just have to watch well and practice this. In. I believe me, you, you will get it. You will get it. So the next one <coughs> is the shadow. You can still give your shape a shadow. So you can give inner shadow too and emboss. Those ones are for 3D. I will show you how to use those emboss and all these other ones. Shadow. Then layer. Our layer here is for this background. This background can change the background color but it's going to be on this layer icon you can make the color background transparent when you want to when you have finished a work and you want it to be on png that's png a, an image or a design that has no background it was designed but the background was removed so i'm not going to be explaining to you the difference of png jpeg and so on so let's change the color back to white of the background can see as easy as that then image that's the sizing of the of the design that's the size of the paper of the design you want to use this where you put it so image that's if you want to add a standard image extra image this one is taking back to gallery you want to bring things from gallery just like it is up here too 
réussi par pixel à base various features donc je fais feature ici so and then the last one here is it's also like background settings too rotate we have rotate we have vintage this background color noise to reduce the noise on the background the stripes we want to make the surface stripe with stripe brightness contrast full and saturation all these ones are background setting i'm going to show you how to operate each and every one of them so i want you to practice this and meet me at the top when we are starting a new design we're going to be starting with a, a pos flyer a unique pos flyer I'm going to be dropping a video showing you how to design a pos flyer we'll start with that and then from there you'll be able to put all what you've learned from here into practice thank you once again i'm happy to have an opportunity to explain to you how to use the pixel lab and i hope you guys learn and understand it better but most of it all practice makes perfect thank you